Hi, my name is Krista Harder. I am a food addict and I have never been to a 12-step meeting. Now I should probably add that I am a recovering food addict. I have lost over 77 pounds and kept it off. I am two and a half years sober from my food addiction. In the process of getting sober from my food addiction, I got other addictions, social media, I got addicted to spending money, I got addicted to exercise, I got a buzz out of all kinds of different things that I've had to eliminate and work through. And I did it all without being part of an anonymous 12-step program. Now, I think some people are gonna find this hard to believe. I think a lot of people that watch my channel already know why I haven't been to a 12-step meeting. It's because I, I'm part of a program called Bright Line Eating. But for those who have been in 12-step programs, hear me and say like, what the heck? Let me just say, I didn't get sober without doing inner work. The inner work happened. It just didn't happen through the 12 steps. Now I would argue I have worked through almost all of the 12 steps on my own. I read about them in, I mean, it's not the best source, but Russell Brand's book about being an addict. It's an amazing read if you're okay with crass reading. Check it out. So what I want to do is take some time to explain how I came about identifying as an addict, how I went about finding my recovery and how I did all of that without entering a 12 step program. So back in 2021, this is what I looked like and I felt probably worse than I looked and every day felt like I was about to die. And I didn't look for a food addiction recovery program because I did not identify as a food addict. I already had a faith background enough so that I wasn't looking for another cult to join. Let's just put it that way. I had also already joined enough cult-like weight loss things that I really wasn't looking for that either. I did paleo for about a year and a half. I did keto for three years. I did beach body, fit body boot camps. I did good life fitness. I did the YMCA for a long time. I did intermittent fasting. I've been around the diet and exercise block. And by this point, I was really desperate and I was at the end of my rope, and I was having the kind of binges that left me with out-of-body experiences watching the binge happen, and after the binge was over, I would think to myself, this is what dying must feel like. It was so bad, and then I came across Bright Line Eating. Now, at this point, all I was trying to do was lose weight. That's all I wanted. I didn't know I needed more, but Bright Line Eating had what I needed despite what I wanted. So that brings me to reason one why I went with Bright Line Eating instead of a 12-step program. The reason one is I did not identify as a food addict when I came in. So I wasn't looking for that cult to join. What I found with Bright Line Eating was different from all the other weight loss and exercise programs I had tried. Bright Line Eating is science-based. Susan Pierce Thompson is a scientist at heart. And so what I found was she was explaining why I was doing the things I did. She was empowering me with knowledge that was actually going to help me achieve my goals from a scientific method. Spoiler alert, it was only two or three weeks in before I realized, oh my goodness, I am a food addict. And it took a lot for me to get there, mainly watching my journey, watching the journeys of others in the boot camp and in the membership, and seeing other addicts of other substances like drugs and alcohol and hearing their stories of relapse and recovery and identifying to my core with what they were saying, only switching out the words with food. It was mind blowing when I realized I am a food addict. So at that point, you might wonder, why didn't I switch over to a 12-step program? Part of the reason is Bright Line Eating has a lot of members in it that have been down that road, that have tried the 12-step recovery programs and have found them either to be specifically for food, too lenient or way too strict. There's, there's just no in-between there. And a lot of people have been burned by them, like Christians being burned by the Catholic Church. Like it's it's not much different. and. They don't, they don't wanna go back. So at that point in my journey, I decided to stay. I decided to see out this thing and I got curious about the 12 steps. That's when I started reading Russell Brand's book. So reason number two that I chose Bright Line Eating over a 12 step program is I was not doing good spiritually. I was not in a great place. I didn't wanna to talk to God. I didn't want to rely on him. He, I, as far as I was concerned, he had steered me wrong. He had left me and abandoned me. 
given me bad advice, and I was, I was bitter. And bright light eating is spiritually neutral. You can come in wherever you're at. You do not have to believe in a higher power. Susan goes through the science of how a higher power can help, and that's based on research and brain scans, not on preference and passion. Now, when I started boot camp and started hearing that science about how um, prayer, a two minute prayer is as effective at restoring your willpower as like a 20 minute meditation. And I started understanding the science of what was happening in my brain when I would rely on a higher power. I took her advice. I, like I said, I was desperate. So when I was establishing my habits, I actually started reading my Bible again because I needed to do some spiritual reading and I was poor from paying for boot camp. And I needed to have an emergency action plan so that I wouldn't relapse. And part of that plan included prayer because that, according to the science, was one of the quickest ways for me to just really replenish my willpower quick. The neutral, the spiritually neutral program is what got me back in touch with my higher power. Not someone breathing down my neck saying, you need to believe in a higher power and you're powerless. That didn't do it for me. The neutral, genuine, gentle invitation and explanation with science that is empowering. That's what did it for me. Another reason I didn't do a 12 step program first is I hadn't heard of them. Why? Because there are none in my area. There are no food addiction 12 step programs in my area. I have looked on the websites. I have checked the maps. There's nothing. And bright line eating can be done fully online with your support networks and everything, everything is online. And I started during the pandemic. So for me, that was a huge bonus. It was accessible, it was scientific, and it was right what I needed right now. So those are the reasons why I chose Bright Line Eating over a 12-step program to start with. Those are the reasons why I stayed in it during my weight loss. Why am I still there now? Now that I know more, now that I know a lot more about the 12 steps and I know more about Bright Line Eating, why did I choose to stay? 12 step programs are group led, whereas Bright Line Eating is led by a scientist and some coaches. So there's a specific leadership team on this side and on this side it's peer led. Now there are benefits to both, but the drawback to the peer led for me is you are as strong as whoever's in the group at the time. And I've been through enough mastermind groups now to know you cannot guarantee that that's gonna be a strong group. And so I see a lot more reliability in the foundational approach of Bright Line Eating with a science-led program with very specific strong coaches in leadership as opposed to this peer-led program where I am at the mercy of the strongest member of the group. Not to mention that because it's science-led instead of spiritually based, Bright Light Eating gets updated regularly. Like, I mean regularly. Susan will say something, and then a year later, when the science comes out with new information, she is not too proud to go back and say, the science has changed. This is what we think now. I love that. I love that it's current and it's as up-to-date as possible, as opposed to the 12-step model where um, even the food plants... They just are what they are because that's what they have been. Bright Line Eating updates their food plan. The other reason is in the 12-step model, the 12 steps is the work. In Bright Line Eating, you are encouraged, invited, as much as you would like to on your own, to work the 12 steps. In fact, there is an unofficial Bright Line Eating 12-step group that does Bright Line Eating works through the 12 steps. But in addition to that, Bright Line Eating has other inner work support. They work with a therapy method called Internal Family Systems that is highly effective of, at doing inner work, at working with inner trauma and really repressed stuff, working with rebellious parts of you that want to relapse over and over again. It's amazing. In addition to that is any number of other therapy methods because Bright Line Eating is such a large, diverse, vast community that there's so many options for how to do the inner work, including the 12 steps. And that brings me to my next reason. Bright Line Eating, I have global support. And that means even for traveling, like I can pick where I'm traveling based on the fact that there are bright lifers in that area, as opposed to the 12 step programs, which like I said, I can't even find a meetup here. There is no local support here for me. So I'm gonna go with the one where I can get all the support I need every single day. This next one might sound a little bit ass backwards, but 
12 step recovery is free. Bright line eating costs money. To me, that matters. I have skin in the game. I, in fact, when I signed up bright line eating, it costed me almost a thousand dollars Canadian to do the boot camp. It was a lot of money. I had, it was my blood, sweat and tears quite literally. And because of that, I was truly invested in what I was doing. And that matters to me. The fact that I pay a monthly membership fee every month to maintain my bright line eating membership, to listen to the coaching calls, to have access to the courses, course materials and stay up to date on everything that's going on in there and to be in that inner circle. That matters to me that I'm paying that money every month because it's part of my investment in my life. Last, but certainly not least. The 12 step method, the food addict, the addict mindset is we are powerless. In bright line eating, you are empowered. That is a huge difference. That is why a lot of people that come from 12 step find healing in bright line eating. Bright line eating empowers us. It gives us the meditation. It gives us the science. It gives us the why. There are three courses on maintenance. And then in addition to that, there's two daily coaching calls, sometimes three, and then other coaching calls on top of that as well. And there is all this support and all this empowerment to make your plan your own. You are given courses and education so that you actually understand the whys behind everything. And that allows each individual to make their own informed decision about what their food plan will look like, what their support plan will look like. When we have a relapse, we have this scientific method of evaluating and journaling. It's called the permission to be human action plan. And you can go through methodically and systematically and figure out where you went wrong and scientifically pinpoint what it was so you know what to change. It is so empowering. You are not powerless. That is probably one of the biggest reasons why I will choose Bright Line Eating over an Addiction Anonymous program any day. Now, I do wanna end this video by saying I have it on my bucket list. I want to intentionally and objectively work the 12 steps. I think they are a beautiful model for healing. I just think they aren't the only model for healing and they aren't my primary model for healing. But I think they are a good one. I think they are an important one. As a woman of faith, I respect the higher power aspects of it for me, but I recognize that it is not for everybody. But for me, with a higher power, which again was healed by my doing bright line eating. I see that as having tremendous value for my journey. So at some point I plan to get my butt over to that BLE unofficial 12 step recovery group as well. It's not in the cards right now in this season of my life, but it's on the bucket list. All right, that's it. Those are my reasons. I am in bright line eating. I am here to stay. I'm not going anywhere because this is my life now. I love it. My life is so big and open. And you know what? There is so much I want to do with my life right now. I don't got time to break my lines. I don't got time for relapse because I am living my biggest, best, brightest life ever. I'm never going back.